guys so sorry uh, i'm not sure where is my past video that went away and right now i would like to create a video for you guys and we are in a plain page we will go to create scratch select the surface that you want to draw but okay it's up to you any surface will be fine we will go to the front of the cube so you can see from here there only one default plane and you can't be mistake just select that after which we will use a line tool and we will draw a C shape okay okay right now I have a C shape then I will use a dimension tool to help to create the dimensions for it the vast I will say I'll give you a 100 and the top I think I'll give it 25 because later while well, we do the revolve functions and it will times 2 which means it will be 50 mm for the opening and for this I will go for 15 mm so at least smaller and nicer cuter but it's up to you okay then after that we will use a fit point smile line the shortcut key is all over here so we'll use a fit point smile line and we left click on this joint point so that you'll make sure that you have a close loop so i left click once i move slightly then i left click again to create all the different drop point left click left click left click so i wish over here i left click again and i'm happy with this shapes and i want to end it i press the enter and escape button okay after which we can use this joint point and we can adjust and adjust okay but i love my shapes so leave it be after which i will go to solid and select revolve functions so the profile we will select this and the axis we will select the middle of the vase it will look like this but if you select wrongly like this then you have a space plate okay so i will select over here the longer slide so that you will revolve and look like this so once we are okay with it we go to create scratch to create the handle of it so when you click on the create scratch they will over here will have this orange plane which is the default plane so that we can use our fit point smile line and make sure the line is inside the bus okay then we will start to create the shape for the bus so once you are okay with the shape we select that ctrl c ctrl v copy and paste we want an identical same vase then we will go to the Y angle and flip it over moving is not only move but it also allows to rotate the objects mirror it so it's quite nice and user friendly and do you notice why I only drag this angle because when I drag this angle the height will remain as it is if I drag this, the square one, it will be free play. So it may not be good because we don't want to be so messy with so many height differences. And every time when we move, it will be like 10 mm difference. So we can use our keyboard over here and give you a distance of 35. We can use our grip line as our guidelines on the drawing of the era okay so i'm okay with the handle the shape and etc i will go to solid and i go to create i look for pipe which is this is the functions i want to use so i create a shortcut key on top so i pipe this area i can change the dimensions as i go along then after that i will select join so it will be a solid body but once i click ok 
my scratchers handle on the other side is missing so i can go to the browser menu and go to scratch click on the arrow at the side and turn on the scratch then i can use pipe and left click on it and it will remember the last setting that we set okay so once we are okay with it we go over here and we wanted to hollow it so we can use shell and select from the top opening but i will shell outside and create a 2mm distance so when i create 2mm over here the wall thickness will add on 2mm and my handle it also will add 2mm of the wall thickness so just now we have 2 and now we add another 2 so it will become 4 4mm diameter I think it's more than enough and strong enough we can go over here in the inspect and we can search for inspect session analyzing when we left click on the center do you see this is a wall thickness 2 2 Okay, so right now we have a super big handle and it's strong and steady. So maybe we want to add some images on the bars of it. We can go over here, construct, offset plane, select this plane because we wanted to import in the images. So we wanted to create a plane that are outside, easier for us to see. So we select this plane, insert, insert SVG. I have some of the file that I already have on my screen. So maybe I will just use this, the cat, open. So right now I have the cat, I can reduce scale the size as I go along. Okay, I want the cat to be like this. To be inside and I want to face the mouth to be exactly here okay so once I'm okay with it I select the cat again ctrl C ctrl V copy a identical one and I flip over 180 so I want to make sure I'm going to create a kissing cat. Yep. They are okay with it. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an emboss on an uneven surface. Okay. I go to the browser menu again, the body one, control C, control V, copy one additional browser man uh this bus. So you can see I turn off and there's one bus. Okay, I shall turn off one bus and remain the, the other. Okay, so I can go to solid, extrude, select these two, PD, and I pull the arrow, drag it in. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm going to use this image of the cat and to cut the shape according to this bus. So the operations I will use intercept. So the remaining of the bus will be gone. Only the shape of the cat will be remain as it is according to the shape of the bus. So once I have something like this, I turn on body one which we replica. Okay, but right now, you don't try to combine them together first, okay? Because if you combine the three of them together, the cat will be missing because the cat is according to the shape of the bus. So what you can do is select the cat body, move and copy. Move them in front 1mm, okay? Remember, we are trying to create an emboss on an uneven surface. 
So once you are done here, select the three body and combine them. They will have a vase cap. That's how we have drawn a vase.